how important do you think it is to have some downtime when you're, you know, where you can uh, completely step away from the business for periods of time? Very hard to actually, not very hard to find a time. If you're your own boss, you can say, hey, it's 7 p.m. I'm going to stop working for like an hour, get dinner, and then maybe go back to it. Technically, it's not challenging, but when you're there, just making sure that you are emotionally available to enjoy the downtime, I think that's the main challenge for most business owners because I find myself, you know, on vacation or, or you know, having dinner or whatever I do, still consumed by the business, still thinking about the business, still thinking about the one thing I need to do tomorrow, the email I forgot to send or anything else. And it's, it's, it's hard because when you have a business, I mean, the way that W2s are looking at business owners is that they have, they're making money, they have, you know, they have control over their time and, and they can do whatever they want. Technically it's true, but I can tell that I'm the most uh, demanding boss that I've ever had. <laughs> And, um, I am working, I'm working the hardest that I've ever worked in my whole life, period. Sometimes I work until 1, 2 a.m. Sometimes I work until midnight, sometimes just until, you know, 7 or 8 p.m. And it doesn't feel like work. I actually, I like it. I, you know, I feel, you know, it's, it's, uh, invigorating and exciting, but then sometimes it's also, you know, it takes a lot out of you. So finding the downtime, that's not the issue, but when I'm doing things, things other than work, I'm still thinking about work. So it's always in the back of your mind. Even when you try to not think about it, it's very, very hard to completely erase it. You know, when you were W2, when I was a W2, I got into my car at four or 5 PM. It was a tech company. So work was not very hard, at least not for me. Got into my car at 4 PM by five, let's say I was home, you know, I live in LA. So it was an hour uh, drive and I was free. I was really free because I didn't think about anything. I didn't bring work with me. There were other things that I didn't like about it, but this is the main thing that kind of the main difference between W2 and, and a business owner. When you're a business owner, you can find all the time in the world. The big issue is, are you emotionally available? And this is the thing that I'm still working on. So Yeah, that's challenging for sure. And I think that's the one thing that a lot of people don't recognize when they think that they want to yeah. work for themselves. They they don't rec you know realize mm -hmm. how attached they're going to be to the business and how how much they're going to be mm -hmm. thinking about it. You know, yep. you don't you don't clock out really. So 